summer sun beating down, summer breeze drifting round, walking together, sanding our toes, a break from the graft, a week's day at Skegna Sands. Summer sun beating down, summer breeze drifting round, friends all cheer, all barrel races and tug of war, courage and love, respect for us all. A week's day at Skegna Sands. Back to work with graft, fear for life, longing for summer suns beating down and summer breeze drifting round. Hello, I hope you're all having a good time this afternoon. And My name's Charlie Wilde and this is my piece called The Days I Were Down the Mine. The strike was a confusing time. Streets were ridden with hatred and crime. Homes were filled with dust and grime. The days I were down the mine. Eight hours were spent in the pit, a couple of pennies to pay for it, a bell at the hip and my lantern lit, the days I were down the mine. A lot of pain without any fuss, every day I sat on that bus, eggs and bricks were thrown at us, the days I were down the mine. All I could do was stare in silence, no lantern could ever give me guidance. Oh, I could never forget the violence, the days I were down the pit. Thank you. I woke into the windows wrap, just like every other day. Rush out the door with my Dudley and Snap, just like every other day. Friends surround me on my way, just like every other day. Then sudden waves of noise roll over the street. Dark clouds of smoke appear, as if from nowhere. Screams and shrieks hang thick in the air. I don't want to accept what no one dare say. This is nothing like any other day. 5.30am, the night shift is coming to an end. All I can think about is how tired my limbs are and how I want to crawl into my bed. When my shift ended, me and my fellow pitmen made our way to the lift, nervously. I hate that lift. It makes me sick to my stomach. Suddenly, a tremendous draft got up followed by a terrific bang. I look around and see black coal dust and smoke filling the pit. There had been an explosion from a pocket of gas at the coal face. Men on their way to the pit bottom were blown off their feet and had to crawl in the thick black dust, choking and using the tub to guide them, collapsing from the fumes that they inhaled. I panic. I'm in fear. I know this is selfish, but I have to think for myself. I have to get out. Waking up in the morning, it's five o'clock. After miles of walking, a long time of talking, knocking on the doors of fellow miners. Ian, Ian, wake up. Nervously, we descend into the cage. Eight hours to go. Going further and further, picking at the coal. Time goes slow. When will it end? Our backs ache from the bend. Getting black coal, that's all we need. Endlessly cutting the coal makes our hands bleed. Time goes slow, yet families we must feed. Home time now. I can't wait. Elsie will have my dinner on a plate. Returning tomorrow to do it all again. Um, so this is written about my grandfather, who was a miner. And on the day of the pit disaster, he was meant to be working the shift, but he was late to work, so he missed that um, thing. I can't remember what it's called, lift. He missed the lift, so he survived. And yeah, this is about how he would feel about it. Walking, walking to the pit, snapped in under my arm. Meeting my mates on the way, same thing every day. I'm stopped by a friend to talk about a game we all like to play. Plodding along my path, hoping my wife doesn't forget my bath. I can already tell that today is going to be a long one. I'm late and stood outside the pit. I don't know what's happening. It's all gone to shouts. Shouts from the crowd. It's my friend. News. News. I found out the news. There's been an accident. Realisation kicks in. He saved me, that's why I'm late. He's why I miss the cage. Ambulance, ambulance flies past. That should have been me. Walking, walking home, every man is silent. I'm drowned by my own thoughts. That should have been me. Home, I'm home now, falling into my wife's arm. Grateful for my life. Crying, I'm crying now. That should have been me.